Welcome to RIMAP, a European project aimed at advancing the use of condition-based maintenance in aviation. Every day, the world's skies are crossed by over 1 million flights. Ensure services, reliability and passenger safety is key to these numbers. And although we as passengers don't see it, it largely depends on an effective and efficient aircraft maintenance. So, how is aircraft maintenance performed today? At present, most of the aircraft maintenance is either reactive or preventive. In reactive, if something fails, uh, you take an action and that results in unscheduled maintenance, uh, aircraft on ground, uh, delays in flights, which results in billions of dollars cost over it for airlines. The second approach is a preventive, where you do regular uh, scheduled maintenance and you replace parts whenever a specified uh, time period mentioned by the manufacturer. Our approach provides the best balance between services security and reliability on one hand and economic costs of aircraft maintenance on the other. RIMAP will develop an integrated fleet health management solution that will enable a strategy to identify aircraft parts that are actually damaged or replace the ones that are close to failure. Our solution will collect sensor data, so collect information from sensors, uh, leveraging uh, sensors that already exist in the aircraft, but also maturing uh, sensors uh, that can uh, monitor the structural health of uh, aircraft in future. Develop diagnostics and prognostics algorithms. A development of uh, new diagnostic methodologies, diagnostic methodologies that are able to answer to uh, the question if there is or there is not damage in a structure, that is anomaly detection, to localize where damage is, and uh, last but not least, assess the severity of damage. And create a maintenance planning tool. A maintenance uh, planning tool, which will read this information of health conditions from systems and structures, to make decisions when to uh, perform maintenance for each aircraft in our fleet. So what is the real advantage of our approach? Hopefully we can uh, we'll be able to, to design aircraft that will tell us what is happening. So in terms of, of, of uh, surprises, uh, we don't expect to, to, to have uh, many surprises uh, during normal operations. All this will be tested in a six-month operational environment in more than 12 aircraft systems and in two different aircraft fleets, a Boeing and the Embraer. Although technology is the key to open this new paradigm, this is not the only challenge faced by RIMAP. The first major challenge is to change people's mindset. People tend to do what they always did. We're doing maintenance the same way for 20, 30 years now, so to change people's mind is always a big challenge. The project joins a vast number of stakeholders, such as airlines, aircraft manufacturers, aerostructure suppliers, sensor technology providers, research institutions and regulatory entities. RIMAP is also looking for new members to help us building a common European roadmap towards the future of CBM in aviation. This common roadmap will provide, at the first instance, will provide the IT, open IT solution that we're going to uh, offer uh, to uh, stakeholders. And this hopefully will allow in the future for uh, condition-based maintenance uh, um, to be more present in practice. We also will discuss uh, industry process, so how this solution can be used then in practice. And a very important uh, aspect of this roadmap is to discuss uh, regulation. So how, which challenge do we have ahead? Uh, how can we uh, adapt our regulations if we want to uh, have CBM as condition-based maintenance as reality in the, in the future? Uh, KLM uh, is, uh, finds itself to be one of the pioneers in aviation. We're actually still uh, the oldest airline operating uh, under its original name, so we've been flying almost 100 years. And uh, well, if you want to fly 100 years or more, we will definitely have to move along with this innovation as well and use data to leverage our maintenance. Fly with us in this trip to the future of aviation.